The next day, after a sleepless night, some of us could not stop from crying. Some of us felt a rage we'd never felt before. Some of us felt numb, didn't feel anything at all. That day, when we do what we do, when morning calls after we have no sleep, and we listen for that voice that often speaks, often reassures, often whispers in few words, in its own language, with its own unique phrases. A language that's not a language, a language that cannot be expressed between you and you, between you and anyone else. A voice now mute, uncertain, silent, struck down. The next day, gloom. Old stories, shaded by ancient grievances, grounded by modern contrivances. Toxins, a salve. What are we today? What will we be tomorrow? The next day. What are we? What were we the day before today? On that day, that uncertain day. That day when our sense of reason peeled away, our purpose picked apart piece by piece, one particle after another, floating off, carried, carried away cleaving and clinging to someone else, becoming part of someone else. The next day, you are, we are stretched beyond sense, out of proportion, have become as we are always becoming someone else, everyone else, each other, a part of the whole, a part unlike any other, like all people here and gone, indispensable, unnecessary, heroes, victims, navigating a course over the swelling fissures of a reconfigured domain. And there was evening and there was morning before there was a sun or a moon.